Are you ready to discover the secret to feeling fresh and fabulous every day? Join me in today's video as I dive into the guide to feminine hygiene with tips and advice to help you look and feel fabulous. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ade, a registered nurse. On this channel, we talk about how to live and have a balanced, healthy lifestyle. Let's talk about this. What do I mean by having a balanced lifestyle? This has to do with four major parts of our life, which, which are number one, the physical aspect, number two, the spiritual aspect, the third one, our finances, that's the financial aspect of our lives, and the last one is our mental health. You see, and those four major parts of our life are at equilibrium, then we tend to live a balanced lifestyle. So, if this is what you want, if this is what you yearn for, you are here, you're welcome, okay. Don't forget to do what, subscribe, like, and share. So, without further ado, let's jump in into what we have for today. Hey, ladies, we are diving into the world of feminine hygiene, sharing tips and tricks to help you feel fresh and confident every day. So, in this video, I'll talk about four major aspects. The first one is understanding feminine hygiene, the second is daily hygiene routine, the third is choosing the right products. And the fourth one is hygiene tips during menstruation. With those steps, I believe to help us to maintain freshness throughout. So without further ado, fans, let's dive into what we have for today. I believe that discussing these major areas will help us to maintain freshness. So the first thing I'll be talking about is understanding feminine hygiene, right? So what is feminine hygiene? Feminine hygiene refers to the practices and products used to maintain cleanliness and health in the vagina and vulva areas of the female body. So it is important as it helps prevent infection, discomfort, and odor, promoting overall health and well-being. As a lady, I want us to understand that our vagina is a self-cleaning organ, but external care is necessary to maintain its natural balance and avoid issues like bacteria, vaginosis, yeast infection, and urinary tract infections moving forward we need to address some common misconceptions and minds around the feminine hygiene so what are the minds and mis misconceptions you've heard about feminine hygiene so here in this video i'll quickly talk about some common misconceptions and minds surrounding feminine hygiene here are the few examples i have you can also drop yours in the comment section and let's talk about it about it yeah Number one, might is douching, 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 <laughs> whatever is necessary for cleanliness. But the fact is that douching or using water or other solutions to rinse the inner part of the vagina is not necessary and can actually be harmful. Yeah, it can disrupt the natural balance of bacteria and increase the risk of infections second mind is that feminine odor is always a sign of poor hygiene mm. but the fact is that feminine odor is natural and can vary depending on factors like diet hormonal changes sweats okay so mild odor is normal but a strong fishy odor may indicate an infection that requires immediate medical attention the third might I'll be talking about is using scented products is better for feminine hygiene. Mm. Beautiful family, beautiful ladies. But the fact is that scented products like feminine wipes, sprays, or soap can disrupt the natural pH balance of the vagina and lead to irritation or infection. So it's better to use mild unscented products. Under might is wearing a party liner every day is necessary. But to be, to be candid, the fact is that while party liner can be helpful for managing discharge or light spotting, wearing them every day can actually create a moist environment that promotes bacterial growth. It is best to use them only when needed, okay? The, the next is, vaginal discharge is always a sign of infection. Mm -mm. The fact is, vaginal discharge is a normal part of the body's cleaning process and can vary in consistency and amount throughout the menstrual cycle. However, changes in color, consistency, or odor may indicate an infection. So, so it is important to dispel these mites and provide accurate information to provide healthy 
feminine hygiene practices. So we are done with the mind and fat. We are moving, so we are moving on to daily hygiene routine. So I'll just give us tips on daily hygiene routine we can use as a lady to stay fresh, okay? Number one is showering, yeah. So shower daily with lukewarm water, avoid hot water. It can strap the skin of natural oils, okay? Use a mouth pH balance soap to clean the external genital area. Avoid harsh soaps or douches as they can disturb the natural pH balance, just like I said, okay? The next is cleaning the intimate area. Use your hand to gently wash the external genital area with water and a mild fragrance free soap. So the next one is always wipe from front to back after using the toilet to prevent bacteria from entering the vagina. So don't forget it's from the front towards to the back. The next one is changing our underwear. Yeah, change your underwear daily or more often if you sweat a lot or during menstruation. Wear breathable cotton underwear to allow hair circulation and also reduce moisture. If we do not um, change our underwear appropriately, it could actually lead to, you know, it, it could indulge bacteria and other infection into our body. Because whatever, once you know, once you understand that whatever there, there is moisture, there is ability of bacteria to actually grow, okay? So the next step is to change our inner ways often. I want to ask us, when last did we think that on this? When last did we go for that shopping? Okay, fam, so I recommend that we should change our inner ways at least three to four months interval, okay? The next step is to ensure we sun dry our inner ways as this also helps to kill bacteria. Put that inner way outside. The next one is hydration, yes. How well do you drink water? Do you drink water? How many times do you drink in a day? Yes, a lot of us you know, prefer to drink on um, carbonated stuff than water. So what I want you to understand is that we understand is that we need to stay hydrated and eat a balanced diet to support our overall vaginal health and even our overall health. Yeah. The next tip is to practice safe sex. Please practice safe sex. This helps to reduce the risk of sexually transmitted infection. Lastly, beautiful ladies, seek medical attention immediately. If you experience unusual symptoms such as itching, bony, or unusual discharge, consult a healthcare provider for evaluation and treatment. The one thing we need to understand is that every woman's body is different, so it is important to listen to our body and adjust our hygiene routine accordingly. If you have specific concerns or questions, Consult a healthcare provider for personalized advice. Don't forget, her health is her priority, okay? Now, let's talk about choosing the right product. Choosing the right feminine hygiene product is crucial for maintaining vaginal health and comfort. Here are some tips for selecting the right product. So, if you need to select between sanitary pads and tampons, go for pads with soft breathable surface and adequate absorbance for your flow we're talking about tapering select the lowest absorbance needed for your flow to reduce the risk of vagina dryness and irritation so the next step is to look for products labeled chlorine free and fragrance free this helps to minimize exposure to harsh chemicals and artificial fragrances okay then the next one is look for size and absorbent select the right size and absorbent level based on your flow and body size using a higher absorbent level than necessary can lead to dryness and irritation and i believe you don't want that to happen to you right so don't forget to always look for your size and absorbent each time you want to choose the right product for yourself okay then moving forward so if you are someone that has sensitive skin Consider using hypoallergenic products that are less likely to cause irritation or allergic reactions. So the final topic on this video is hygiene tips during menstruation. Yes, during menstruation, it is important to pay extra attention to your hygiene to stay comfortable and prevent infections. So here are some tips. Change your pad or tampons every four or six hours or more often if needed to prevent odor and infections and consider using overnight pad 
or tampons with higher absorbance during the night. The next one is hydration. When you're menstruating as a lady, it's advisable for us to drink enough water. This helps us to stay hydrated and also help to flush out some things from our body. Moving forward is to manage menstrual cramps. Now, for those that do experience menstrual cramps during their menstruation, use you can make use of heat packs or take over the counter pain relievers to manage menstrual cramps. Yeah, practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing or gentle yoga to help reduce stress and discomfort. Next tip is to ensure that you monitor your menstrual health. As a lady, ensure to keep track of your menstrual cycle and changes in flow, in duration, or symptoms. So that should you notice any unusual changes, you need to consult a healthcare provider as soon as possible, especially uh, obstetric and gynecologists. Okay, remember, beautiful ladies, beautiful family, that prioritizing our feminine hygiene is essential for our overall health and well-being. By following those steps, we can feel fresh comfortable and confident every day don't forget that our body deserves the best care so make sure to give it the attention it needs that is a wrap on healthy tips and hacks for feminine hygiene i hope you found those tips helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more valuable content until next time stay healthy fresh and confident and i will see you in the next video Guess what? I love you all and I need your help to survive.